Wow. This is insane. I can't believe that he made this island. The amount of bottles that I've sent off to be recycled, when really, I could have my own island. I better get started on my own private island. Bottle Island has generated more than 3 million hits. So we set sail from Mexico to get the truth behind Richard's plastic paradise. This whole idea of doing a floating island came to me in a vision. And I saw a whole like Garden of Eden, a paradise on a beautiful ocean, all done totally clean. And it was all floating on the trash of the world. And I'm like, wow, that could work. I'm just like, wow. So are we. How in the name of Avion has Richard built this trash-tastic real estate? Beneath the island, in the water, are net sacks that contain 170,000 reclaimed plastic bottles. The island measures 82 feet or 25 meters in width, and 91 feet or 28 meters in length. On it, he has his own three-bedroom house with electricity and Wi-Fi. Wow. This is a biodegradable toilet. It's always with leaves on the top. And then when it comes too high, uh -huh. I have this thing here and I can take it out and it's soil for the garden. But why doesn't Richard's toilet, house, and whole island sink like a stone? Underneath the island, Richard has plastic bottles with air trapped inside them, inside nets. The nets sit underneath wooden pallets. On top of those wooden pallets are old plywood covered in sand, and into that he plants mangrove trees. Mangrove trees provide the perfect glue to hold this island together. They really like the salty nature of the ocean. The roots are also aerial, which means that they can loop around under the water and then come back above ground. So this is a few years old, but you'd, you'd never be able to pull that out. It's just, it's holding the whole island together, you know? It's like a, like a lasagna. You have trash, and then you have earth, and then you have trash and earth again. Is this floating lasagna built to last? One of the problems with using water bottles is that they degrade in the sun from the UV. So Richard has been really smart about putting his water bottles and sacks underneath the island so none of the sunlight can hit it. It also encourages sea fauna and coral to grow around the bottles which protect them further. So the nature is actually preserving the trash and without the trash, all of the trees on this island would just die and sink into the salt water. 